What's up y'all, welcome to Key West. We are here for the week, we're playing a music festival. So, of course we had to rent some sick beach shredders. We got a couple mermen. Say what up to the boys. What up? Stop. What an incredible opportunity to be on an island paradise for work, but having a full day off to do whatever we want, we're gonna make the most of it. All right, boys. Oh, God. Oh! We've been told there's a little private beach at the end of this jungle trail. So we're checking it out. Woo! Yeah, Swamp Bridge. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. So that little beach was awesome, but we're looking for something with a little more sand. There's nothing better than riding around on a beach cruiser barefoot in the jungle, popping out on little remote beaches, crystal clear water. You can see dolphins in the distance. We are living on island time, that's for sure. <laughs> Refreshed from our swim, we were on a hunt for a nice cold pina colada, hopefully next to another sparkling beach but we kind of had no idea where we were going. That's also the point. Excuse us. <laughs> oh my gosh. One hilarious thing about Key West is the island is covered with chickens. We were starting to wonder where we were, so we looked for any old pirate that we could find to give us directions. Sweet. Well, thanks, brother. We'll go check that out. We ended up stumbling on the southernmost bar in the United States of America, which is a pretty great place to drink some rum if you ask me. Those train people were not stoked. It's hilarious driving around in this town because everybody's on golf carts, scooters, bikes, cars. No one follows the rules. Just go wherever you want. What a... It's hilarious though. This is my kind of city. Proper off day form, we headed down to Duval Street to meet up with some of our friends, the Smiths, and then of course, Matt and the boys from Wildwood. 
So as you can imagine, we woke up craving a dip in the refreshing ocean. So we headed down to Smathers Beach, one of the best spots at low tide on the entire oh. island. With the moon in full phase, the sandbar was actually exposed and the water was shallow enough that we actually got a chance to ride our bikes. We had so much fun that we got a little carried away and had to rush across the island to make our gig at the Sunset Pier. But we got there on time and it was totally worth it. Rain's pouring through the window panes and the cracks from this room. Tea's boiling from the spout of the pot, but all I see is you. It was the last day of our trip, which meant that we were headlining the main stage of the festival that evening. What an incredible week it had been, exploring the island on bikes, riding in the ocean, playing gigs over the water. But this was going to be the most special day of all. 